Today we're talking all about the brand new Mina Bay nylon <laughs> pouch set. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole. And on this channel, we talk about everything from bag reviews, product reviews, and so much more. So if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. Today, I am so excited to bring you a review and a massive comparison in pouches to the brand new Mina Bay nylon pouch set. This pouch set and all of the pouches that I mentioned in today's video will be linked in the description box down below. So be sure to check it out. First, I thought we would talk about the pouch set, and then I'm going to compare them to five or six different brands. So you get a really good feel for the size of the pouches and how they compare to some of their competitors. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So first off, the nylon pouch set from Mina Bay is made from the same nylon as their bags. It's strong, it's sturdy, it's substantial, and it's structured. You know how there are some nylon bags that are made of nylon, but they're really flimsy? That's not the case with these. These are going to give you some structure, some shape, and also have the beautiful Mina Bay hardware that we all love. Speaking of hardware, these pouches come in two different varieties, gunmetal and gold, and right now just in this black color. They did launch with a limited edition color, but that one has since sold out. As you can see here, the pouch set is going to come with a long strap. I will actually put the exact dimensions here on the screen because it is not adjustable, um, but it lets you quickly and easily turn this large pouch into a crossbody bag, just like so. One feature of the large pouch is on the interior, you have a zippered pocket, so it truly can convert to a crossbody bag, which I think is awesome. It has some extra space and an added zipper. I think it's great. Let's talk about the size. So the dimensions of the large pouch are 9.5 inches wide by 6.5 inches tall and then 1.5 in diameter which is right here all right and then let's take a look at the other two i think that they really nailed the sizes on these pouches really really nicely this is the medium size and the dimensions of this one are 7.5 inches wide 5 inches tall and 1.25 in diameter and then here is the small guy. Oh, so cute. The smallest pouch size is five inches wide, four inches tall, and 1.25 inches in diameter. So that gives you, let me kind of hold them all together so you can see, that gives you an idea of the size of the Mina pouches. I think they did a really good job of defining the sizes in this grouping. And you'll see they are different from other competitors in the market. Um, but some of them are a little similar. So let's go ahead and without further ado, let's jump into the first comparison. Let's compare the Mia to her sister, the Mama Pouch Set, which comes with a Mama Pouch and a Bebe Pouch and retails for $79. It is top grain leather and comes with two wristlet straps and a card case. Let's go ahead and see how the sizes compare. So the small is obviously too small, um, but the medium though, is the most similar to the medium nylon pouch. You can see that the mama pouch is just a hair taller than the nylon pouch set. And to be specific, the Bebe pouch is actually 7.5 inches tall and 5.5 inches wide. And the Mia is seven inches wide, five inches tall. So, and 1.5 inches in diameter. You'll see one of the big differences is, see how the bottom is sewn at a triangle? It's gonna give you that 1.25, um, it's gonna give you that one and a quarter inch in diameter, which is gonna give you a little bit more space and capacity than the Bebe pouch. But you're looking at about half an inch difference on either side. As we look at the Mama pouch right here, like I mentioned, it's top grain leather. The size on this one is nine inches wide, seven and a quarter inches tall. It again has that bottom sewn like this where the large Mia pouch is sewn to give you some width here, which is actually 1.5 inches in diameter. In terms of size, you can see that the Mia pouch is going to inch it out right here just a little bit more. It's at 9.5 inches wide. So let me see if I can get you a better view. There you go. So you have half an inch right there. And then when it comes to the height of the bag, you have the Mama pouch set a little bit taller. So let me see if I can, there we go. 
there's a good look at the height difference as well. That's a look at the Mia versus the Mama pouch set from Mina Bay. Now let's go and take a look at something a bit different. <laughs> Over on my Instagram, I asked what brand comparison you guys wanted to see, and hands down, Jujubee was the most asked for. So let's jump in, right? First, let's talk about materials. Jujubee is machine washable, and it is going to um, be a lot different in structure. If you see what I mean, you can kind of fold it, squish it. Um, Jujubee, the B set retails for $65. The Mia pouch set, $79. And um, it does come with two straps. It comes with a short strap and a long strap. So you can convert the large pouch to a crossbody as well. But let's see how the sizes compare. All right, let's start off with these small size pouches because they are the most similar. You can see that they're both sewn the same at the bottom to have that diameter. The diameter on the small um, set piece is one inch and the, on the Mia, it's one and a quarter. So it's a quarter of an inch wider. And then when it comes to height and width, I man, I would say that they're pretty comparable, but let's look at the measurements. So it's telling me here that the small set piece is 5.5 inches wide and 3.5 inches in height. And the Mia is five inches and four inches in height. So pretty darn similar. I think the biggest difference is gonna be the materials. You know, the Mia has that zipper stop right here, and so it doesn't allow you to really open it as wide as a B-set that zips all the way around the other side and opens up pretty wide. Again, the materials are different, machine washable, and this one is nylon, but for an upscale, classy look, I really like the Mia um, in comparison, but it's all based on what your needs are. So there's the small. The medium is a different shape entirely. Moving on to the medium, when you put the medium Mia piece over the B set, you can see that the sizes are actually completely different. You're going to see the Mia being a bit taller, quarter of an inch taller, and then the B set being wider. All right, let's take a look at the big pieces here. Okay. One notable thing I want to mention is that both bags are the same height. They are both 6.5 inches in height. So you can see that there. They're both the same height, 6.5 inches. The width of the bags, the Mia is 9.5 and the, the B set is nine. And you can see that oh, right here. You can see that extra space right there. And then the diameter on the bottom um, I think it's the biggest difference. The diameter of the bottom of the large set piece is 2.5, and on the Mia, it's 1.5, so it's a whole inch smaller, but you can see that difference right there. So there you go. There's a quick look at how the Mia compares to the Jujubee B set. Let's move on to the next. The second most requested comparison was with the Lily Jade Packing Case Trio. And although the materials are different and the style of the bags are different, Let's take a look at how the sizes compare. First off, the Lily Jade packing cases retail for $60, although they are frequently on sale, and they do come with a wristlet strap. I don't think that you would carry one of these bags as a crossbody bag, but even if you wanted to, there is not a D-ring over here on the other side to convert it to one. But don't fear, I'm gonna compare the Lily Jade crossbody bag next. Let's go ahead and start with the small piece from Lily Jade. Um, this is not comparable at all to the Mia as it's so much smaller, but let's look at the medium. Here is the medium laid over the Lily Jade Small. And I will say that the construction of this bag is also vastly different. So you are gonna see that the bottom of this bag is sewn, like I mentioned, with some width. Lily Jades are going to lay totally flat. So nine inches wide is gonna be about two inches wider than the medium case from Mina Bay. So you can see, not totally comparable. Also, I wanted to mention the Lily Jade packing cases are machine washable as well. Um, if you toss them in a lingerie bag and on a gentle cycle, you can rinse them clean. And of course, they also have this clear front. So not a direct comparison, but yeah, the small piece is substantially bigger than the medium. I'm gonna compare the large to the medium Lily Jade packing case, and I think we're gonna see a bit of a closer size range here. So comparing the large pouch to the medium Lily Jade packing case, you have about an inch and a half difference over here on the width, 
And then when it comes to the height of the bag, you're looking at seven inches tall for Lily Jade and 6.5 for Mina Bay, which you can see right there. So I would say between all of the packing cases, the large Mia is probably most comparable to the medium Lily Jade packing case. When I overlay it over the large, you can see it's really not even a, a great comparison because the large is so much larger. All right, so there you go. There's a look at how the Lily Jade packing cases compare um, to the Mina Bay Mia pouches. So now let's take a look at how the crossbody compares to the largest size pouch. All right, here we are. This is the Lily Jade Old English crossbody bag. And this bag has a beautiful leather tassel. It comes with a wristlet strap and a leather and chain strap. And the dimensions on this one are 10.5 inches wide by seven inches tall. So let's go ahead and put the large pouch right over here. There you go. So the main difference you're gonna see is on the width of the bag right here. And the width of the crossbody, like I mentioned, is 10.5. And on the Mina Bay large piece, it is 9.5. So you're gonna have a good inch of room right there. When it comes to the height, the Lily Jade wristlet is about half an inch taller as well. Let's so set them up. You can kind of see that right there. And um, yeah, of course the materials are different, but I would say comparable as the inside of the Lily Jade bag also has a built-in wallet and card slots. And this is what a look at the chain strap that comes with it. So really nice. The retail for the Lily Jade leather crossbody bag is 135 again frequently on sale so keep an eye out for that but there's a quick look at how these two compare i thought it would be fun to take a look at mz wallace because why not they are some of my absolute favorites and i picked the bowery pouch this is the medium size and i thought we could maybe compare it to the medium size mina pouch now here's the deal the com I think the construction of these bags is totally different, but it's most comparable here. Although the, the extra diameter here at the bottom is gonna make a massive difference on how much it can hold. Also the interior of this little pouch has a little zippered pocket too. It has leather details and it retails for $55. Um, but this is a good example. This is made of recycled nylon and do you see how it can like scrunch and squish, whereas the Mina pouches have more structure? And the diameter on the bottom of this one is 2.7 compared to 1.25. So definitely a big difference. And like I said, it's going to make a big difference in how much it can hold. But I wanted to show you guys just in case you had one of these and was curious. Now let's take a look at the small Zoe from MZ Wallace. I love this little pouch. It's so cute. Has a maroon interior. It's one of their limited edition colors but it's also made of the quilted nylon with a little leather zipper pull. And when I look at it compared to the small, to the small trio, you can see that the diameter of the bottom is definitely a lot wider. In fact, it is 2.3 inches compared to 1.25. And so that will definitely make a difference in how much this little pouch can hold. So the last comparison you guys asked for was to the Limea pouch set from the Sensible Mama. And I will say these two pouch sets are hard to compare because they are quite different. The Limea pouch set retails for $140 and includes a strap and is made primarily from full grain leather. And one of their pouches, um, the middle sized one, I believe, looks almost identical to a Lily Jade pouch. So it's gonna have a window on the front of it. The most comparable size from the two would probably be the large, the, the large pouch from Mina Bay is 9.5 inches wide and the Limea one is 10.5 inches wide. It is 6.5 inches tall. The Limea one is 7.5 inches tall. And then the diameter on the bottom is 1.5 on this Mia pouch and 2.5 on the Limea. So not exactly the same, but, but the large is probably the closest comparison. All right guys, so that's it for the video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did and you wanna check out any of the products I mentioned, be sure to check out the description box down below. And to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, stay a while, and I'll see all of you guys again in my next video. Bye guys.